What's bracking guys, welcome to another player growth test. I'll be taking a look at the young promising right back in DeAndre Yedlin. Definitely is a very uh, physically gifted player. You can see tons of great physical stats there. You can see uh, sprint speed, acceleration, agility, balance, stamina, jumping. And of course, I'd like to see some improvement in his technical ability as well. Because you can see he's a very attacking right back uh, with that high medium work rate. Of course, three stars, three star. Also, five foot eight, excuse me, uh, speedster specialty as well. So definitely would like to see improvement in his crossing. I think he really should be improved in crossing in the game as well. His crossing has improved a lot in real life. But uh, despite that, uh, we'll see how he continues to improve in the game. Now, in the first season, he's up to 69 uh, basically improvements across the board, uh, even to his uh, physical stats. And you can see nice improvements to his technical stats as well. Curve, shot power going up. Uh, some respectable respectable additions to his crossing and dribbling ball control as well. Now at the end of the third season, he's up to a 72. Uh, you can see his crossing has definitely improved a bit. And his tackle stats are really good. And just the marking in general is pretty poor. Uh, he's definitely not a very good defensive right back. He's not very strong defensively as a right back. You can see in the year 2020 at the age of 26, he does reach his listed self potential of 75. So definitely has, you know, good slide pretty solid technically uh, nothing too bad or anything uh, pretty solid across the board marking is still f fairly poor I'd say for right back uh, that's why I really uh, hope they move him to right mid even if he's not listed at right mid you may want to take a look at him in that spot because he definitely has the pace and the like to really make uh, a difference there despite not really having the skill moves you're not a skill move person but you do like pace uh, you can still make a difference but uh, either way play him at right back right mid he'll be trying us for you right wing back may be actually the best spot in my opinion as well but you see he did uh, grow a bit as well after that. Only up to a 76 in this growth, growth test, unfortunately. I did test him multiple times as well, but this is the best I could get him up to, just uh, to 76, unfortunately. But either way, short passing curve, uh, shot power, tackle stats have improved a lot. Technical ability is, doing, is solid there. Mental stats are decent. Of course, his physical stats make him tremendous. Uh, he's an amazing player in that aspect, of course. We'll be able to get up and down the pitch and the like. So I definitely think, you know, really take a look at him at right wing back and right mid with those work rates. Uh, definitely think he can make a huge difference on the offensive side of the ball. But really, can you if you can use his pace uh, properly, um, he'll be able to make a, di a big difference defensively as well. But just, you know, when you're getting close to the box and then like that marking uh, may cause you some problems, of course. Uh, so really something to look out for if you're going to play him at right back. So that's why I definitely think, you know, playing in a higher... Uh, more attacking position on uh, on the right side of the pitch would definitely be best uh, in this case here. But uh, other than that, uh, thanks guys for tuning in now. Uh, I'll be signing out, and I'll catch you guys later.